Hey everyone, it's Chris at saltwaterwitch.com. So if you're like me, you like the idea of running one power cable to the scope and that's it. Everything but the mount is there. Your cameras, your filter wheel, focuser, a rotator if you have one, dew control, everything but the mount. But what if you could also eliminate the cable running down to the mount and free up a USB port at the same time? With my indie based setups using ecos to control it all it's easy to have a separate raspberry pi running indie server connected to the mount and then your main controller on the scope can treat all remote devices as if they're connected direct locally it's just direct that's built into the indie protocol there's, a, there's actually nothing to stop you from using a separate controller it's a separate raspberry pi say for every single device with one acting as the controller for all others sort of Sauron mode, one ring to rule them all style. I don't know why you would want to do this with Indy, also looking at you, Sauron, but it will work. So if this decentralized approach is built into ASCOM, I've never seen it. To accomplish this with ASCOM supported mounts that I have and have used in the past, I used uh, like Shoestring Astronomy's Bluetooth adapter from my Orion Atlas EQG, which also worked with the EQ5, EQ6, those, those Skywatcher mounts. And I have a smart, I think it's a StarFi Wi-Fi adapter for my Ioptron mount. I don't have anything like these devices for the Skywatcher EQ6R. And when I did some research, I didn't run into anything that was sort of astro-specific, any solutions for the newer Skywatcher mounts. So I turned to a generic solution using a virtual USB hub to connect the EQ6R Pro. And then that once that's connected, you run the virtual USB client on the main Windows controller. Everything functions properly and should work with any Astro apps you're currently using in Windows. I've been using Nina for the past couple of months and you know, there's some great stuff in the latest beta releases, including the, that advanced sequencer, the new plugin model with some awesome plugins, polar alignment is built in, all that stuff. If you're not using Nina, you should check it out. So let's cut to the chase. I'm using a virtual here, H-E-R-E, -E, virtual here server. So that's virtualhere.com. The links to all of this, everything I talk about here is, are in the comments below. So I have a virtual here server running on a Raspberry Pi 4 with my uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro connected by a USB cable. And then my Windows 10 machine is running the virtual here client, which creates a COM port that EQ mod or green swamp server connects to. That's it. Seriously, it's as, it's as simple as that. So here's my Windows machine stacked on a Pegasus pocket power box. This is attached to my telescope with all the USB and do PWM cables going directly to the devices and do strips. I run, I run power directly from the pocket power box to the camera and focuser. The only cable that has to leave the scope is the 12 volt 10 amp line to power the pocket power box. So here's my uh, Skywatcher EQ6R mount with the Raspberry Pi 4 attached. Another 12 volt 10 amp line runs from my power supply to these two with a splitter. You can see there at the bottom right. One note, you don't need to run the server where the mount connects on Windows. Even if your Astro apps all use as common Windows, that's fine. You can just use an inexpensive Raspberry Pi uh, to run the actual virtual here server. Uh, you can even use uh, like a $15 Raspberry Pi Zero W board. They're, they're totally cheap. There's a, a great video on exactly what I've done by uh, Nova Spirit Tech, and I'll link to that below. He walks through the complete setup on the Pi using Linux on both ends, but it basically works the same with Windows on the client side. Virtual here has servers for just about any OS and hardware combination imaginable. It's kind of it's kind of insane what they have. T take a look at their site. Uh, the links are there. Uh, the clients they have uh, are the various versions of Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. So whatever you're running, it's probably supported. I'm telling you, it's the coolest thing when you open the Windows Device Manager and see the prolific USB to serial COM port uh, under the COM and LPT port section in the Device Manager. And you know that's the EQ6R Pro, virtually connected. It's not actually connected to the Windows device, but the Windows device thinks it is because it's running across this wireless connection from the server. From there, you run everything normally. You start up EQ Mod or Green Swamp Server, connect your stuff, and start imaging. The virtual here server is tied to a single device and will allow you to share one USB connection without time restrictions, which may be all you need. 
to purchase and share more devices with virtual here you get a get a license for 49 bucks it's it's a one-time fee it's too it's super cheap so here's what i did to get things going I'm not going to talk about getting in, you know, installing Raspberry Pi OS and all that. There's pl there are plenty of videos on doing that. You basically want to log into the Raspberry Pi, get it on the same network as your Astro imaging equipment. You're going to do a wget and just download the uh, the ARM. If you're on a Raspberry Pi, it's the ARM based a server. You're going to make it executable. You're going to set it up so that it it starts up on boot, and that's pretty much it. You're done. Reboot your reboot your Pi, plug in your mount. On the Windows side, or it could be Mac or Linux, it doesn't really matter because Virtual here supports those too. You want to go and download the client. Double click the app. On Windows, it's it's v VH is virtual here. VHUI64.exe. That's the 64-bit version virtual here client app. You should see the the client open and with then a dialogue will pop up and give you some information about the server it found on the network or servers, I guess, if you're running more than one. And that that's the one that you'll be running on your Raspberry Pi. And it'll have an IP address and, and a port. You'll see, like, if it's a Raspberry Pi, you'll see, like, USB hubs, and it'll say Raspberry Hub. That's the default name. I think you can re you can change that, but I've left it the, as the default. You can just double-click that on that USB serial controller D or something. It'll say something. Just double-click on that, on that hub, and uh, it'll connect. And it'll say, in use by you. At that point, open up Device Manager, and you'll see the COM port for uh, for your for your mount. And in, if you're using any of the Skywatchers, the Orions that are based on this on the Sky that, that are basically OEM to Skywatchers, you're going to see the prolific USB to serial COM port. At that point, you're done. Start up Green Swamp or EQ Mod or whatever you want to do. Connect to that port, that COM port. There's nothing else that you need to do. It it all everything functions exactly as you as it would if your the mount was connected directly through a USB port on your Windows machine. So uh, that's it. I have a blog post specifically on this that has that goes into a little more detail than I'm going into into it here. Uh, check that out at saltwaterwitch.com/blog. Uh, okay, that's it for me. Clear skies, everyone.